What's up, everybody? Ready to open some double master packs? <laughs> I wanted to have music on this live stream, but I'm streaming this to YouTube. So um, the mix that I had put together is kind of like questionable. I don't know if it was like gonna get me in trouble, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna use the mix. So we just won't be having any music on the stream. Give me one second here. I can't see any comments, so I don't know if people are commenting or not. Somebody sent a comment right now so I can I can see if it's showing up on my end. All right, I see it now. I don't know what was going on with it a few minutes ago. All right. We're gonna get into this these packs. So um I don't know how many people bought vi VIP packs, but I've been telling everybody it's not really that smart to buy VIP packs. Um the whole security issue thing going on. I don't know if you haven't seen uh my my boy uh Midwest EDH, uh Kyle McDermott, uh Kyle Dermott, excuse me. Uh, he posted a video of the VIP box and how you can like open it up and look in it and you know see the cards in the pack. I was gonna do it, but he had more time on his hands, so he did it and I shared his video. So if you haven't checked it out um, at Midwest EDH uh, YouTube channel, you should definitely check that out. Um, but I think that these these boxes right here are the better value anyway. Um, I guess it really depends on. For me, I'm a collector, but I like cracking packs, so. Um, I think you get more bang for your buck with this and you have the very low possibility of opening four mythic rares uh, in these boxes. So uh, you you don't have any chance of doing that with the hundred dollar VIP pack. So uh, definitely don't waste your money on those those VIP packs if you try to get more bang for your buck. So let me get into this. There is a possibility of like. I've been hearing there's a possibility of not even having a box top in these boxes. So, um, yeah, if that's if that's what's going on, then I'm in trouble here because that's what most of the value is. So, well, I got my box topper. So, that's a good thing. <laughs> I didn't get cheated out of that at least. So hopefully I get some good stuff here. Move these out the way, make some space. We just gonna get into this. If I get some bomb pulls, if you need a F and M code when I open like a bomb pull, just let me know and uh, <laughs> just just give me a shout out. Say hey, I need a code. That's a bomb pull. I need a I need an F and M code and uh, I'll shoot you an F and M code from yesterday. We got ugly corn here, checking out seeing what we pull so let's go ahead and get into it all these commons aren't really uh of much value <laughs> I, I like this guy disciple the vault um this used to be like a a combo piece from like back in the day so uh i really like that card And a high market. I wish they would have put Rashad Port in here. That would have been like better than high market. I don't know why they chose to put high market in here. Um, what is this guy? 
When did this? Is this a commander card or something? I think this is a commander card. Anybody tell me what this is? Is this a commander card? I don't know. <laughs> and Inca Well Spring. And whatever this is Metal Spinners Puzzle Knot. And then a copy token. Man, what is this? I've never seen a copy token before. Like, what? What is it copy? I don't know. <laughs> All right. Well, that pack was lackluster. We got a commander, commander rare, and a high market. So, yeah. I'm just going to blaze through these commons and uncommons because they're not really worth anything. Oh, I like this card, though. That's pretty cool. And a wound reflection. At the beginning of the end step, each opponent loses a life. And uh, I guess that's cool. Grand Architect. That's cool, too. Uh, Master Splice is cool. Not worth much, but Drowning Sorrow. This card is on Arena now, isn't it? I think it is. I don't know. Two more duds, in my opinion. All right, gremlins. I like salivating gremlins. <laughs> oh, this card's on arena too now. Uh, yeah, lightning axe. It's on uh, historic. I think. Somebody let me know if I'm wrong. <laughs> can you guys? Uh, I'm I'm guessing y'all can hear me. <laughs> Buried Ruin. This used to be a a good standard card back when it was in standard. Time Sieve. Oh, and I got a corn. Hey. Well, I hear he's a good card. Corn. Corn. He's not ugly corn though. Ugly corn, you didn't show up, man. Why? Why are you? Where are you at? Where are you hiding at? I'm looking at you. <laughs> and frogify, cast down foils. Pretty good. I just put the foils and tokens right there. So, corn's a good hit. So if anybody wants a code for corn, a F and M code for corn, the corn pool. Send a message. Yeah, I'll put I'll leave that there. All right, so we got Twisted Abomination, Conclave Naturalist. All these uh oh, I like that. brainstorm, brainstorm's good. I can't read your name. It was all in Asian. <laughs> oh, Ariok Salvagers. This used to be really good. This used to combo with um, Lion's Eye Diamond back when it was a big thing to be doing. And Snarn Bridge. Used to be worth money. Not really, uh, not really worth much now. <laughs> I don't think anyway. I like the art though. I guess that can be considered a, a decent hit. And Goto Bandit Warlord. Why is this even in here? Um that's that's garbage. <laughs> uh Ancestral's Blade. That's on Arena too. Yeah. I like this power plant. Here's this power plant foil. 
I guess that's good. You can go in a good pile. You know what? I'm getting to the point now where I'm just going to start like... I'm just going to put all the trash. <laughs> all the trash in one stack together. That's that's. I don't care if it's full or not. If it's trash, it's trash. Alright. So, so far, I only got three cards that I would consider something. How's the pool so far? Well, I only got three cards that I would consider something. <laughs> Ugly corn spooking you. <laughs> Brittany, I got you on a code. Send me a Facebook message and I'll, I'll message you a code after the stream. Clear shot. And it's glare. I'm sorry. Glare pretty bad right now. I like this art. This art is pretty cool. There are two people just sitting there chilling. <laughs> Crusader of Oldrick. Is this on a uh, arena? I don't remember. I, this art looks familiar though. I don't know if it's on arena. Oh, fire the thicket. That's good. I'll put that in a good spot. Master of Ethereum. That's okay. I guess I'll start an okay spot. So this is this is the good spot. And this is the okay spot. Let's do it like that. And then all of this is this is just gonna be the trash pile. <laughs> Mistress Bobble. That goes in the okay spot. As you can see, I really don't care about rarity. Either either a card is good to me or it's not. And uh yeah, this is trash. Clue? Clue token? Uh, Alright. I guess these can these these belong in the rare the uh, the uh trash pile. <laughs> Has anybody out there been opening VIP packs? Have you been getting have you been getting banged for your buck? I have VIP packs. I haven't. I haven't even opened them. I. I just. I don't know if I want to open them or if I want to save them. I feel like if I want to crack packs, I'm just gonna crack these regular packs. All right. I remember this card. I used to like this. Oh, Agent Stearns. Pretty good. I know this guy's on Arena. Seen a lot of cards from Arena on here. Oh, he's on Arena too. Your horse familiar. He's in my uh, colorless um, historic ramp deck. Fulminator Mage used to be good. Not really good now. I guess he'll go in the okay pile. Rise, he's good. He can go in the he can go in the, the the nice hit pile. And then weapon surge. Death right ritual. Foil. Nice art. But crappy card. And a squirrel token. Trash. Trash. Am I excited for Amon Cat remaster on Arena? Scarab God? Yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> I was uh who was that I was talking to on, on in the group the other day about Scarab God? I think it was uh Chris Chris Mesca. I was saying that I was excited for uh Scarab God. And I forgot what card Chris said, but he was like I think it was an artifact or something, and he was saying that he was excited for it. it it's the one that it brings something back and it makes it a 4-4 creature from your graveyard. Um, and I said, well, why use that? Just use Scarab God. All right. Oh, I like Mirror Retriever. Mirror Retriever used to be, he used to be like the key to some really broken stuff. 
So I'm always a fan of Mirror Retriever. I wish this was foil. I would go for a foil of these. I'm just going to put him in the okay pile just because he's Mirror Retriever. And any any non-foil um, Urza's Land, I'm just going to put it in trash because it's not even going to be worth 50 cents. Oh, Blood Moon. Hey, that's a good one. Not foil, but pretty good. Uh, Sunder and Titan. Ah. Ah. Does he belong in the in the good pools or the trash pile? <laughs> Hazard, Scarab God, gonna be lit. Yeah. They are. I'm telling you now, man. Like, I guess he'll, he'll go in the okay pile. Uh, Apprentice Wizard. I like Apprentice Wizard, and it's full. So, I'm gonna put this in the, in the okay hits. Um, when Hazret and Scarab God come to come to arena, um, Scar both of them are going to be a problem, but Scarab God is is going to be the worst one. Hazret, when it was in standard, that card used to scare the crap out of me. Um, it scared the crap out of a lot of people, but Scarab God is is a hundred times worse. It's very oppressive, so. I like the card. Scarab God is is like one of my favorite cards of all time. But um, I feel like with it, how things go in arena, and just like the the speed of how how long it takes everybody to to figure out decks and figure out what's the best decks. Once they realize how oppressive Scarab God is, because you got to keep in mind a lot of people that play arena. We got a lot of new players on arena. They haven't played with Scarab God, so those are going to be the people. <laughs> A lot of those people are going to be crying about Scarab God and wanting it removed. Oh, another Apprentice Wizard. Oh, not full, though. Oh, they saw Monolith. I got so many of these. If it was full, this would be like a great hit. <laughs> but it's not. Ravenous Trap, Trash, Sculpting Steel. Nah, that's trash to me. Remember the Fallen, Foil, Trash. Surge Node, Trash. Got a Shapeshifter token. That's pretty cool. I like him. He can, he can chill. He's going to chill with me. He's my friend for the remainder of the stream. <laughs> When does uh I'm on Cat Remastered? When is that? When is that coming to Arena? Might let me know because I don't. I haven't been keeping up with it. Weapon Surge. Clear shot. Uh, Might of the Masses. That's on Arena too, isn't it? Everflowing Chalice. It's a nice card. Hongify. Why do I keep seeing this card? So many of these. Pure Steel Paladin. Ah, this is a good modern card. That's an okay hit. Glimmer Void. That's an okay hit too. Hmm. South Sylvian Might. Trash. Sphinx of Guild Pack. This is on Arena. This is in my uh my janky happily ever after deck it's going in the okay pools just because it's full so <laughs> the 13th this thursday oh man so i gotta i gotta spend more money i gotta spend money on arena again that's this week they really been uh Pumping up the arena historic. Where's all those people at that that like argued with me and crucified me when I said that arena wasn't gonna stay standard forever? <laughs> I got tore up on the group when I said that. Oh no, but the devs, the devs said uh, yeah, right. The devs said what the company told them to say at the time. 
Another Basalt Molyneux. Man, if I get a four one of these, then I'll be happy. Salvage Titan. Really? It's a Toxic Deluge. Regular. Guess that's an okay hit. Trash. Trash. Germ token. It's kind of cute. Germ token. You can chill out with the shapeshifter. I'm gathering buddies here. <laughs> Historic is better than standard. It definitely is. It definitely is bigger than standard. Standard is getting to be a stale, a stale mess. I mean, standard goes through its periods of being stale, but arena makes it, arena makes it so much worse because the speed of which people, would, which decks get around and people figure out decks and, you know, it's just, it makes, it makes standard really stale really quickly. So I think historic is going to be the, the, the way to go from now on. Hmm, Flayer Husk. I used to like this guy too. It was a good draft card. Oh. Another filter land. That's cool. That's a good hit. Baleful Strix used to be good. Not so much now. So, I don't know. Maybe out of respect, I should put him in the OK pile. What do you guys think? Should he go in the OK pile? <laughs> I'll put him over there. Oh, now here's his tower. I like these. Any four ones, they go in the good hit and the in the great hits. I mean, the ape. It's a flying ape. That's cool. He can hang out with the other guys. So what I got here that I would consider bomb hits. Well, bombs are really good. So we got a fall Urza's Tower, Blood Moon, Rise, Filter Land, Urza's Power Plant, Snarn Bridge, and Karn. That's what I got so far. And I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 packs left to go. Now the OK hits. Strix. Oh, this should go over here. Because it's, yeah, the other one's over there. Strix, Toxic Deluge, Sphinx, Glimmer Void, Pure Steel, Prentice Wizard, Sunder and Titan, Mirror Retriever, Fulminator Mage, Bobble, and Master of Ethereum. I'm not, again, for people who just joined in, I'm not caring about rarity. If I like the card and I consider it my, what I, whatever hit I consider it to be, that's the pile I put it in. So, because a mythic can be trash, and then you got some commons that can be better than mythics, in my opinion. All right. Driver of the Dead. Trash, trash, trash. Sift. Is this on Arena? I think it is. Or a card similar to its own arena. Here's his tower. Oh, send triplets. That's a good hit. That's a that's actually a great hit. I don't know how much it is now, but it used to be a pretty expensive commander card. Bone picker. Spoil. <laughs> nice art. Bone picker. And Vish. Cow Blood Arbiter. Hmm. Guess that's an okay hit. I know people who play that in Commander. I might be able to get that to somebody. What's the best, uh... Anybody who's open VIP packs that's watching right now, what's the best card you pull from a VIP pack? Got to be careful with those. Don't want to get scammed. <laughs> if 
thought, thought the foundry pretty good yeah I like I like the uh, adopt the foundry I can put that there man reflection pretty good not what it used to be oh scarab God speaking of the man himself the man of the hour scarab God coming to torture you on arena <laughs> trying to get it to focus but this camera that's watching the the cards it it's kind of wonky but yeah scare up guy that's a nice hit so that goes in the bombs and what is this oh this is on arena this is that yeah that's on arena another copy token I wonder what I'm supposed to do with this. Like, I've never seen something that gives me a copy token. And I've been playing the game for 27 years. So, somebody can tell me what I'm supposed to do with this. This, this token can be used to represent a copy of, of a permanent. Okay, I guess. <laughs> I guess. Alright. Where's all the where's all the foil mythics? I need a foil mythic. Brainstorm. You know, brainstorm, I'm gonna I'm gonna end up going back and like digging all these brainstorms out of this this pile because brainstorm is actually uh this is like the poor man's ancestral recall, as we used to call it back in the day. But it's like the second best draw spell in all of magic now, so even though I'm leaving it in the trash pile, it's actually not trash. Open the vaults. Trash. What is? What is? <laughs> I, I mean, I, I guess it's okay, but for six mana, there's better things you could be doing. So I don't know. It's an okay card. It'll go in the okay spot. The okay pools. Uh, Kimba. Yeah, this is a good card. This is a good card for Commander. So, I like the art too. Art's pretty good. Trash. Trash. Soldier token. Alright. Like, getting, getting close to the the third, the last third of the box here. Every time I see this card, it, like at first glance, it looks like Rhystic Study to me. <laughs> then I have to realize it isn't. Vampire Hicks Mage. She's good. She can go in the, in the good, the good pulls pile. I remember when she came out. So true story. When this card when this card came out, I was I was back in college, and um, Dark Depths was like a fifty cent card, and Vampire Hex Mage got spoiled, and it shot up to be like a hundred bucks, and I had did a a prank when I was in college where I had bought fifty Dark Depths. They were all they were fifty cents at the time, so I had bought fifty of them to play a prank on somebody. So I just had 50 Dark Deaths just like sitting in a box in my dorm room. And just overnight, the card became 100 bucks when Vampire Hex Mage got spoiled. So yeah, it was like the greatest lotto hit ever in Magic for me. Melon Mage. Used to be good on Arena now, but not really that great. Oh, and then I got a foil brainstorm. It must have heard me talking good about it. No, that's going in the the good the good hits pile. It's almost three a.m. in Africa. Three a.m. Thanks, man. Thanks. I'm trying to I'm trying to get an ugly corn. <laughs> that's all I want is an ugly corn. If I can get an ugly corn, I'll be happy with an ugly corn. 
It's the ugliest card ever made. Path to Exile, always good, but I got a zillion of them, as I'm sure a lot of other people do. Another filter land. It's a Kozilek Predator. Another Mirror Retriever. I'm such a fan of this card. I I can't. My brain will not let me put it in the keep it in the trash pile. <laughs> oh, Avison. There we go. That's another good hit. Avison. Original art, the best one of all to me. That's definitely a, a bomb hit. Terracidon, trash, got a zillion of those. All right. Getting close to opening the box toppers. This is the funnest part to buying packs now to me. It's just cracking packs. It always has been, always will be. Because most of the time you're going to lose money anyway. Buying boxes. Lightning Griefs. Got a zillion of them. But it's a good hit. Another filter land. Swag Tusk. This was a pretty good pack. And still sabotage Valor of Acros. I don't think I've ever even seen this card. <laughs> and a mirror token. Yeah, I'm I'm always a fan of mirrors. Mirrors is one of my favorite creature types. That was a pretty good pack. All right. Make this a little make this a little neat here. All right. Oh, there's that infamous Infamous upgraded to rare <laughs> expedition map. <laughs> I feel sorry for anybody who opens this as their box topper. And watch me saying that. Watch, watch, I'm going to open mine. Open my box top and it's going to be an expedition map. <laughs> yes, it definitely is better to buy singles. If, if you need cards um, for any decks right now, I highly, oh, automated. Auto, adaptive auto, automaton that's pretty good I like that that's an okay hit it's a good uh modern card and then mirror battles battle spear yeah it's okay but yeah um anybody if you need cards for specific decks definitely buy singles right now because double mass is coming out has made singles like way cheap and I mean I'm saying that as a person who I buy a lot of sealed product um, I just have disposable income to, to be able to do that and I, I realize that not everybody is able to do that so a lot of people they crunch they crunch their money to buy cards for specific decks so don't 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 buy these packs trying to open what you want definitely buy singles now is the best time to buy singles. Keep on getting these Urza's Power Plants. I think I got a place it of Urza's Power Plants now. <laughs> out of, just out of this, this box. Vexing Shusher. We need this guy on Arena. Because I, I get tired of having my stuff countered. <laughs> He's trash though. Progenitor Mimic. Yeah, good good commander card. That try that, that pack was trash. Alright. 
Got three packs to go to the box topper. This was Bobble. And these always come together. These always come together. Like, I don't think I've ever seen a double masters pack open with both of these in the pack, but them not touching each other. So they always come together. Both good cards though. Guys of St. Trav. This this used to be the man back in the day. Back when this was standard and original original in a block, this card was the beast. This with um um there was like a one one hex proof uh guy that you couldn't I, I can't think of the, the, the uh I can't think of the name of it, but it used to go in the deck with this. It was hex proof and uh unblockable. And uh yeah, I think it was like invisible stalker or something like that. Somebody somebody comment um uh, if they know what I'm talking about. But yeah, you put swords on this guy and Invisible Stalker or whatever his name was. And yeah, that, that deck was really good. And Divest. I like this. I like the Divest art. Like, that's pretty. That's gorgeous art. I'm going to put that in the, the good hits just because of the art. Rocky, you remember? <laughs> oh, I best doesn't want to stay still. It's got that beautiful shiny, shiny falling on it. Trash, trash, trash. Oh, Dog Steel Citadel. That's pretty good. I got a commander deck I can put this in because I don't I don't have a four one of these, I don't think. So I'll put that in the okay hits. Alright, two packs to go for the box topper. Anybody needs uh F and M codes from yesterday? Send me a Facebook message. Send me a Facebook message and you'll I'll send you a code. I got quite a few of them to get rid of. Or if you're watching on YouTube, because I am streaming this on YouTube. If you're watching on YouTube and you're not on Facebook, then send my scoop face email uh, a message and I'll send you an F and M code. Another another Vish cow. Yeah, he's not full though. He ain't he ain't going in a straight. Oh, walking ballista. That used to be pretty good. That's an okay hit. Then this thing again. How many elvish aberrations am I going? <laughs> I, I've seen so much of this card. Like tired of seeing it. Cranial plating. That used to be good too. Uh, there was like a mono black artifact deck that used to use this. It used to be pretty good. Had like that uh, Phyrexian, like one black Phyrexian mana and one regular mana. It was like a flyer. One one artifact flyer. All right, last last regular pack. I need a Jace the Mind Sculptor. Can I get a Jace the Mind Sculptor? Oh, I got a Chrome Box. Well, I guess I can't complain about that. It's pretty good. <laughs> it's not a Jace, but it's pretty good. That's definitely going in the in the bombs. And then uh Kadalta Forge Master. Trash. Trash. And whatever this is, artifacts you control have hex proof. Yeah, art's nice. Spoil. Ah, uh, it can go into okay piles, I guess. 
All right. Box topper. The infamous box topper. What y'all think it's going to be? Somebody take a stab at it. Somebody take a stab at it. If you guess right, I got a special, a special arena code for you if you guess right. Free to guess. It's no charge. <laughs> Anybody want to guess? Free arena code. Well, I'm going to go ahead and open it. I know it's delayed for me, so you comment, guess, guess right. I got a special code for you. Lightning Greaves, Sword of War and Peace. Eh, guess there could have been worse things. I could have gotten an expedition map and a, and a meddling mage. <laughs> That's pretty good. I can't be mad at these. All right. So out of the bombs, the bombs pools. They line my friends up here. These are my friends. Germ token, shapeshifter. <laughs> I got Lightning Greaves, Sword of War and Peace, Chrome Ox, Geist, Sunken Ruins, Absin, Scarab God, Sin Triplets. I'll just put the lands over here. Corn, Norn Bridge. That's what we got. Blood Moon. Can't see that one. So that's what I would consider the real money. Money out of the box anyway. All of these are just okay. I'll find uses for these. As you can see, I'm not like a, a crazy caring about crazy value and the value of cards and all that stuff. My magic collection is it's like a ninth wonder of the world or something. So <laughs> more cards than trees in my city. Thank you all for watching. And uh, did anybody guess? Oh, somebody said a planeswalker. The ugly corn. Jace. <laughs> nobody, nobody guessed right. <laughs> but yeah, if you need a if you need an FNM code, send me a Facebook message or a. Uh, a YouTube message. I have 20 codes left to give away. So, um, yeah, I just get rid of those to whoever wants them. All right. Thank you all for watching. I'll be streaming arena gameplay later or later on this week. Maybe some tonight or maybe some tomorrow, whenever it'll just be random. I don't, I'm not going to say a time because I don't, I don't want to lie if I can't dedicate myself to it. So thank you all.